Hello and welcome back to another video, today we will be going over 15 facts about the rise of ancient Japan. But before we start make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and turn on that notification bell so that you're notified when we next upload. And without further ado let's jump right into it. Number 1. Jaman Period, 14,000 to 300 BCE. The Jaman Period is Japan's earliest known era, characterized by a hunter-gatherer lifestyle and the production of pottery, which is among the oldest in the world. Number 2. Yayoi Culture, 300 BCE, 300 CE. The Yayoi Period introduced rice agriculture, metalworking, and social stratification, replacing the Jaman lifestyle and laying the groundwork for early Japanese civilization. Number 3. Introduction of Wet Rice Cultivation Wet rice cultivation, introduced during the Aoi period, became the economic backbone of Japan, leading to population growth and the establishment of settled communities. Number 4. Emergence of Uji Clans, Kofun. Period, 250-538 CE. During the Kofun period, powerful clans, known as Uji, emerged, leading to political consolidation and the formation of early Japanese states, with the Yamato clan gaining dominance. Number 5. Construction of Kofun Burial Mounds The Kofun period is named after the massive burial mounds, Kofun, built for the elite, reflecting the increasing social hierarchy and power of the ruling classes. Number 6. Introduction of Buddhism, 6th century CE Buddhism was introduced to Japan via Korea in the 6th century, bringing with it new religious, cultural, and political influences that shaped Japanese society. Number 7. Prince Shotoku, 574-622 CE Prince Shotoku, a regent and influential figure, promoted Buddhism and Confucianism, established the 17-article constitution, and strengthened the centralized government. Number 8. Taika Reforms, 645 CE The Taika Reforms, inspired by Chinese models, centralized political power under the emperor, reorganized the land system, and aimed to unify the country under imperial rule. Number 9. Introduction of Chinese Writing The adoption of Chinese characters, kanji, during the Asuka period significantly impacted Japanese language, literature, and record-keeping, laying the foundation for Japan's written tradition. Number 10. Development of the Ritsuryo System The Ritsuryo System was a legal and administrative framework based on Chinese law, implemented to organize and govern Japan's expanding territory more effectively. Number 11. First Permanent Capital at Nara, 710 CE the establishment of Nara as Japan's first permanent capital marked the beginning of the Nara period, a time of cultural flowering influenced by Chinese culture and Buddhism. Number 12. Compilation of the Kojiki and Neon Shoki The Kojiki, 712 CE, and Neon Shoki, 720 CE, were the first written records of Japanese history and mythology, commissioned to legitimize the imperial lineage and unify the country under a common narrative. Number 13. Shinto and Buddhist Syncretism During the Nara period, Shinto, Japan's indigenous belief system, began to merge with Buddhism, leading to a unique religious syncretism that shaped Japanese spiritual life. Number 14. Expansion of Agriculture the expansion and improvement of agricultural practices during the Nara period led to increased food production, population growth, and the development of a more complex economy. Number 15. Heian Period, 794 CE The establishment of the capital at Heian-kyo, modern-day Kyoto, in 794 CE marked the beginning of the Heian Period a time of relative peace and cultural development that laid the foundations for classical Japanese culture. These facts outline the key developments that contributed to the rise of ancient Japan, from its early cultural foundations to the establishment of a unified and sophisticated state. And that's it for today. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe and turn on that notification bell so that you're notified when we next upload. See you next time.